Hey, hello, welcome. If you're new here or welcome back, either way, hi. As you could probably tell, this is a Kyoko Shimizu, hopefully I said that correctly, ex female listener. It's a bunch of scenarios, mini scenarios, little scenarios,、uh, yeah, of her and you.、Uh, I do not own this, nor do I own the picture used in this video. If there's any background noises, I apologize. Uh, uh, apologize for that, sorry.、Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll just get started now. How you met. You were placed in a study group together. There was this one section you two couldn't figure out for the longest, and you started to fake cry, and she patted you on the shoulder gently. Eventually, you guys started to make jokes. We really need to focus. Neither of you could stop talking about everyday things. It was super easy to connect with one another. Even after the project was presented, you two made sure to stay in touch. First date, it was after practice one time and she bumped into you while on her way to the bus. You seem happy, you commented. Practice went good at least. Yeah, yeah, it did. As you and her neared the bus, she turned to you and hesitantly took your hand in her own. Can we. Can we go do something? Like, right now? You had been right, waiting for this moment. Come on, let's go somewhere. Please. So you two settled for the only place that wasn't packed the movies. The only showing for your time frame was a scary one, so. You were practically ripping her arm off, and she was laughing her ass off the entire time. On the walk home, she was definitely h u l l Huddling up to you because it gets chilly. She knew what she was doing. First kiss. You two liked being over at one another's house, and while you were studying, you two sometimes got sidetracked. It turned into a small pillow fight. It easily died down when you had her pinned and you guys were staring at each other. Kyoko was wanting you to be bolder than her, so you asked if you could kiss her. And she nodded as you two shared a quick yet passionate kiss. The cute little smile you two shared before going in for another one and then having a full out makeout sh- session. <laughs> Rainy day indoors. You guys were getting dessert when it started to pour raining, so you went to her house because it was the closest. She's the one who said to stay over. You guys then proceed to watch show after show, and when you got bored, maybe a movie? You weren't intent on showing Kyoko you're brave. It just ended up in you screaming and her wheezing. She was laughing so hard. Sleepover. You can't be alone after a scary movie marathon. So you ask if you can sleep over, and she, of course, won't refuse you. You do end up taking a shower, and she's reading a book on her bed, waiting for you to finish. You crawl on the bed and pop down to her side, patting at her. What's wrong? Still scared. Kyoko giggles and pecks your lips in a gentle kiss. She runs her fingers through your hair and waits for you to go to sleep first. I love you! She says at first because she's more distant and so she feels bad about it. But don't get her wrong, she means it. One day when it was freezing outside, you took your scarf off and wrap it around her neck. She loves the way you look playing in the snow, sticking your tongue out and then being disgusted by how it feels. And that look you give her, she pulls you in for a kiss, and it's weird because of the public setting. She holds your hand and says, I love your goofy ass. You were so heartwarmed, you felt you didn't need the jacket. Kyoko was smiling as you stuttered over your words. Are you okay? I'm trying to say it back. Don't rush me. Beach day. Kyoko insists on carrying most of the items because she's so strong and wants to show off without being too cocky. Kyoko is all about flaunting her abs to you. However, you do notice she wears a cover for a while. You're well aware of her discomfort in showing too much skin. Eventually, you tell her to get her ass in the water with you. Kyoko is able to escape a current, but you're trapped in one. Guess it's time for her to move on. JK, she saves you after she finishes laughing at your state of peril. Comforting you when you're scared. 
Okay, she struggles a bit. Kyoko doesn't talk at all, just shows as much affection as she's comfortable with. She's someone that matches someone's energy, so she'll more than likely start to show signs of fear, but doesn't want you to panic even more. Maybe a few shoulder pats and a kiss here and there. She's trying. Watching 365 days, you two are having the time of your lives. He's so hot. Oh my god. She's so hot. The scenes don't even bother you guys. You guys just want to know how that was even filmed. Like, did they actually do it? They had to have. The rest of the night is going to some investigating. All it took was a single Google search. It ended rather quickly. Catching you doing TikTok dances. Kyoko stares, blank faced, and released a sigh of complete and utter disdain. I've lost you to straight TikTok. That is the most horrifying thing she's ever said to you. So you cry the rest of the night and she's proud of it. <laughs> Seeing you in the cheerleading uniform. It took her off guard for sure and you try to get her to find one. But she's telling you to back off. Seeing you in such high spirits is terrifying. She cannot be in the same room as you begin to cheer. Oh dear, now you're spelling out her name. Good thing she took track. It really helps her out when she sprints away from you. There's no catching Kyoko when she's in the zone. Give it up. Hearing you laugh weird. Kyoko is embarrassed for you, so she tried to ignore it. Are we gonna... You begin. I prefer not to. One. Let's move on. You with a prosthetic limp. Kyoko doesn't let it change how she views you. She really doesn't like making others uncomfortable either. While she never forgets about it, she does make it known that is a part of you. She actually admires how strong you are. When she's jealous, she'll be shorter than usual, but she doesn't like to cause a scene. She's someone who will do little things, such as grabbing your hand. And you notice her grip is immensely tighter. Oh, Kyoko, is everything okay? Would I be cutting off blood circulations if it was? Watching you hype yourself up. She's not even the one getting caught in the act, but she'll blush and admire you from afar. She will cut you out of your own thoughts. I love watching you like this. You freak out and may blush slightly, but you'll thank her for her kindness. Being cute slash joking around together, she doesn't let loose in public, but you missed your bus and decided to stay at practice with her. So you will do small things, such as poke her side when she's not paying attention. She will try to swat you away and you will stop because she seems annoyed, which makes it her perfect time to strike and poke you with her pen. It's so sharp and quicker than you, you fall off the bench and everyone watches and confused while she's laughing. Kyoko's laughing, guys. Her braiding your hair. She'll usually do it when she's ranting, but she is able to do to be delicate and quick with it. Her braids are immaculate. She can even do them perfectly to herself. She likes to be the one to do it though. She likes playing with her hair. Binding your henna tattoo. H E N N A. Is that how you spell it? I don't know. She'll gasp and gently cover your hands, then peel it back and bring it close to, your fa to her face. Is it real? No, it's henna. Oh. And she'll throw your hand away like it's nothing. She really likes hand tattoos and she was excited when she thought you got one. When you're sick, it's like a texting thing. You, I'm sick. Kyoko, I swear, if you're binge watching that show we were watching last night without me, I'm dumping you. You, thanks, I'm feeling great. Kyoko, then come to school and stop complaining. Hearing you sing a dirty song, she'll just shake her head and try to turn the volume down. If you don't listen, she'll do it herself. Turn it back on. And she'll show you a gaze so deadly, you'll feel it piercing into your body and tearing you up. So you just turn it back off and dip your head in defeat. Kyoko will give the smallest, most content smirk. When you're sleepy, Kyoko thinks you're just a wuss and don't want to watch Attack on Titan with her. But when she notices how you're literally collapsing into her arms whenever she wakes you up, she realizes you're actually exhausted. Sleepy. 
You hum as she rubs your temple, your head relaxed comfortably on her lap. Mm Mhm. She'll press a gentle kiss on your temple, rubbing her fingers delicately along your skin until she falls asleep herself. First argument, you don't take her manager job too seriously. You don't see why she spends so much of her time doing it. And she actually really enjoys it, so she snaps at you for being so close-minded. You rather spend time with sweaty guys hitting a ball rather than me? Don't try to recipe me as a bad guy. At least I'm involved in school. You sit at home all day. She's got a point. So you tell her to let you know when she's done ignoring you so you two can talk this out calmly. You don't actually mind her manager job and always praise her for being so involved and keeping the team together. But you're stressed out that she doesn't see you as much when you're exhausted from school. You could really use her around more often. You don't know why you came at all that way, but your pride consumed you today. Hi, hello again. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did reading it. Mm, I really don't have much to say. I just really wanted it to be a Kyoko X female listener fanfiction, but I couldn't find any. So here's this one. Also wanted to pick Kyoko because today's her birthday. Uh, so yeah, happy birthday, Kyoko. Uh, oh yeah, okay. I do not own this fanfiction, nor do I own the picture used in this video. I think that's all. Cheers. Okay, goodbye.